Let's talk about Oregon. What's up, Wolverines, and welcome back to John Crumb News. Today, we're going to be talking about Measure 114 out of Oregon. That is an anti-gun control measure that passed a long time ago, and it required background checks to get a pistol permit to purchase a firearm. There was also magazine limitations and an assault weapons ban. Luckily, GOA came along and sued in state court and won and got an injunction against Measure 114 from going into effect. But there are other cases, and there is one that just started yesterday, and it's on the federal level, not the state level. The GOA case is on the state level. This one is on the federal level. This case was brought by the Oregon Firearms Federation and a local sheriff that is suing Governor Kate Brown, who is a liberal anti-gun governor who happens to be a Democrat, which, of course, you could probably figure out. They claim that the governor and the state violated their right to bear arms. They are claiming that Measure 114 goes against the U.S. Constitution and the takings clause of the 14th Amendment. Okay, we're going to reference Bruin here because that is basically what the Oregon Fire and Federation and the sheriff is claiming that this is not in line with the Bruin decision. Remember, the Bruin decision said that in order for a law to be constitutional, they have to show that it is within the original text, history, and tradition of the Second Amendment, which was signed in 1791. And the state is not going to be able to do that. And they admit that they're not going to be able to do that. What they are relying on is saying that technology has changed so much that we need these laws, which I think is going to fall on deaf ears because there's nothing in the Constitution that says if technology changes so much that you can actually ignore the Constitution. That's not what the Constitution said, and that is not what the Supreme Court said in Bruin. In fact, the Supreme Court said the exact opposite of what the state is trying to claim. Let me quote Judge Clarence Thomas here. The Second Amendment is not a second-class right. Imagine if the state argued that you do not have free speech on the Internet because technology has advanced so much. Or that you don't have free speech on television because the technology just expanded so much that... The founders could not have envisioned television and the internet, so therefore we can ban free speech and religion on both of those platforms, which you cannot do. There's freedom of the press, and there is the right to keep and bear firearms, and nothing that Oregon is going to say will change that fact. They are trying to rely on intermediate scrutiny and interest balancing, which after the Bruin decision is not a thing. So the only hope that the state has is that there is an activist judge that will ignore the Constitution and grant the state the right to keep on infringing on the rights of their citizens. Unfortunately, unfortunately for the state and really good for our side, the judge in the case is not an activist judge. The judge in the case is actually appointed by Donald J. Trump. So that is a very good thing for our side because that means the judge will probably lean towards us and not take into account interest balancing, which the Supreme Court once again said is not a thing anymore. There's no such thing as interest balancing in Second Amendment cases. So I think the state has an uphill battle to fight here, and they might win, but I think that they will lose ultimately because I do think that the permitting system will be found to be unconstitutional along with assault weapons bans, along with magazine restrictions. I think all of that is going to go on the trash bin of history thanks to the awesome decision in Bruin, which said once again that the Second Amendment is not a second class right. I'm happy that the Bruin decision came down. It's one of the 
best decisions the Supreme Court has ever made in the history of the Supreme Court. And I thank St. Judge Thomas for everything that he has done to increase our freedoms as Americans. All right, guys. I know I said Governor Kate Brown. I should have said former Governor Kate Brown. That just hit me right now, and I'm not going to go back and change it because I'm lazy. I got to go pick something up, so I got to get out of here. I would really, really, really like for you to go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. Check out my Etsy store, by the way. I got something new coming out today, and I think you guys will like it. It'll probably be out this afternoon. But there is still John Wick Buffs that are available for purchase, and they are ready to ship out. All you have to do is buy them, and I'll get them out the door. And that is a good way that you can support the channel and get something really, really cool. All right, guys, that's it. Thank you very much. I love you. I love you. I love you. Stay ever vigilant. Stay ever free. Keeping the fight. I'm out of here. Wolverine's motherfucker.